Is a career in pharmacy for you in 2019? Do you dream of being a licensed drug dealer? Hi, my name is Steven and this is Career Watch, Career Focus YouTube channel bringing you the latest career trends. Every week we cover a different career path. This week we are covering pharmacists and pharmacy technicians. In this video, I have for you 20 years worth of salary and jobs data. With this data, we can forecast wage and job growth for pharmacists and pharmacy technicians. All of this data is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And to start, a little background information on pharmacists and pharmacy technicians. What is a pharmacist? Pharmacists are medication experts, immunizers, and educators. Inside their communities, they can be public health servants and emergency responders. They help patients feel better and get well quickly. Pharmacists are responsible for the quality of medicines supplied to patients. They fill prescriptions, verifying instructions from physicians. They check whether prescriptions will interact negatively with other drugs the patients might be taking. For example, if you want to destroy your liver, you can mix alcohol and Tylenol, Tylenol together. Pharmacists can give flu shots and vaccines. They oversee pharmacy techs and educate patients. There's also their least favorite activity, which is keeping records and working with insurance companies. People view pharmacists very favorably. In a recent Gallup poll, people rated pharmacists as the fifth most honest and ethical profession, with nurses taking the number one spot. To become a pharmacist, you must have a doctor of pharmacy from an accredited pharmacy program, which can be kind of expensive. According to the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacy, in 2018, the average graduating student from a public university owed about 137000 upon graduation, whereas the average graduating student from a private university owed almost $200,000. Pharmacy techs, on the other hand, only require a high school diploma. Formal training is offered on the job. You may have to take an exam, but many employers of pharmacy technicians will pay for it. And some roles of pharmacy technicians include collecting information needed to fill a prescription from customers or health professionals, measuring amounts of medication, packaging, labeling, organizing inventory, accepting payments, processing insurance claims, and scheduling. They typically work under the supervision of a pharmacist. Because it only requires a high school diploma to become a pharmacy technician, this is a great way to test if becoming a pharmacist is the right career path for you. What I have for you next is a chart showing pharmacy pay over the past 20 years. This chart is showing pharmacist and pharmacy technician pay over time from 1997 to 2017. Pharmacy technician pay is represented by the blue line, the average wage among all occupations is represented by the orange line, and pharmacist pay is represented by the gray line. The first thing to notice is the disparity between the orange and blue lines. The gap is growing. This indicates that the average wage is growing faster than wages for pharmacy technicians. Next, notice the gray line representing pharmacists. From 1997 to 2003, there is good wage growth. From 2003 to 2008, there is very good wage growth. The average pharmacist salary during this time period was accelerating five to 6,000 per year. From 2008 to 2012, the average wage growth dipped to about 3K per year. And recently, from 2014 to 2017, wages have been stagnating, only rising one to 2,000 per year. So what's going on? Why is pharmacy wage growth stagnating? I have two reasons for you. The first reason is the growth in the number of pharmacy schools over the past two decades. In December 2000, the government determined that there was a pharmacist shortage and something had to be done to fix it. Their idea was to train more pharmacists to enter the labor force. All over the country, various universities added pharmacy schools and they added them fast. We actually have a study showing the growth in pharmacy schools over time. Dr. John Grabenstein published a study in 2016 called Trends in the Numbers of U.S. Colleges of Pharmacy and Their Graduates, 1900 to 2014. The chart from the study shows the growth of pharmacy schools over time. In the year 2000, there were around 80 pharmacy schools. This was in the midst of the pharmacy shortage that, as I showed you earlier, by 2014, there were 130 pharmacy schools, and this doesn't include satellite campuses. Governments and universities solved the pharmacist shortage, but they did, did they do too good of a job? That's the question. Will there be an ongoing pharmacist surplus? Another reason pharmacist wages are somewhat stagnant is the greater use of pharmacy technicians over pharmacists. This chart is comparing the total number of pharmacist jobs to the total number of pharmacy technician jobs from 1997 to 2017. The blue line represents pharmacists and the orange line represents pharmacy technicians. Notice that up until 2003, there were actually more pharmacists than pharmacy technicians. After 2003, pharmacy tech techs became more numerous and the job gap between pharmacists and pharmacy te technicians has been expanding. The Bureau of Labor Statistics predicts over the next 10 years, pharmacists will see a 6% growth and pharmacy technicians will see a 12% growth. And here's another chart breaking that down to a year over year basis. Pharmacists, pharmacists are expected to see about 1,700 more jobs per year, while pharmacy techs will see about 4,700 more per year. And one reason for the greater job growth of pharmacy technicians is the vast salary difference between pharmacists and pharmacy techs. 
Therefore, companies have profit incentive to use pharmacy technicians over pharmacists as much as possible. Pharmacy is a great field. You get plenty of respect, you make a huge difference in the lives of your patients, and let's face it, there's few careers out there where you only have to work 40 some hours a week and you're paid six figures. Are you interested in pharmacy? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Stephen Hack. If you enjoyed this video, you can support us by subscribing to this channel. We, we do weekly career videos. And thank you very much for watching.